So um, what we want to do is um, show how to pair up an IKEA bulb with the Philips U-Hub. Um, opposed to other brands, the IKEA ones have to be paired with TouchLink. Um, that's the way IKEA originally did it. Uh, they had first the remotes and the bulbs and the bulbs came later as an afterthought. Though, so they've stuck with that. Um, it's a bit bit more complicated uh, than normal. Uh, the one thing um, that you have to take care of when doing this is that you turn all lights physically off around um, where you're pairing the bulb because what happens is that the your, um, um, the bulb simply uh, <laughs> the, the, the hub could grab a different bulb and then you make a mess of your existing system. So the safest is to have the hub and the bulb in a place where there is no other Zigbee bulbs on at the moment, at least for a good bit of a distance. So what we start with first is I'll grab the uh, this here and we first reset the IKEA bulb to factory. And that's by turning it off and on seven times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that starts pulsing now. Now there's two apps that you can use for this. Um, there is the U Essentials app on Android and there's the U Lights app uh, on um, Apple iOS. Uh, I am generally somebody that uses Android but I found that the U Lights app on um, iOS is, is uh, more reliable, it gives more reliable results um, for touch link pairing. So I have an old iPhone 4S um, that I use for that. It's actually one of the very, very few purposes that I have left uh, for, for the phone. Um, one of the last few purposes like so we are waiting here for the bulb to stop puls pulsing um, because the uh, uh, so when, when the reset is finished there and then um, we'll uh, repair it. Now you can see see on my phone here that's the U app um, all the all the bulbs are unavailable uh, or unreachable and that's because I've turned them off. This process can take take about a minute or so. And then um, when it's finished resetting, it will go, go to really, really bright. Um, or sometimes they just have to turn off. And that, that'll be the other scenario. Um, but we let, just let us finish its thing there. Um, so yeah, the the reason obviously for IKEA, um, especially the warm white ones, IKEA only have color in E27, but Geo 10 and candles, they have warm white. Um, from in around February 2020, the price on the warm white ones was, um, was put down to eight euro bulb. And that's an absolute bargain uh, compared to uh, uh, compared to the U bulbs, which typically the warm white ones are around 25 to 30 euros. Uh, Little has recently launched bulbs. Their color bulbs are really cheap, but the uh, warm white ones that they sell, they are still in around 12, 13 euros. So they haven't beaten the price of the IKEA ones. Um, and the other thing then with, for example, Little bulbs, is that they are only available in limited amounts anyhow, where IKEA constantly restocks and sells these. So um, my domain, all the hallways, things like that, I've done in these. Now this is done, now this has just gone light. So what we do here is we'll take the, um, don't know if you can see that yet there, okay. And then we take the U lights up, grant and touch link and again that's a bit crap okay so force the bulb to join so and that'll take 
about you see it's pulsing so just grab that bulb that's great I'm looking at the uh, Android at the U app again and as you can see here we now have a color temperature light and that is and the IKEA bulb has gone out and that means that's paired up now so I can go and I can say okay uh, tap this you see that's the bulb and that's us done uh, that's basically the way to get an IKEA bulb onto a uh, and onto a Philips U hub I hope it's helping um, and see you another time.